Hey Creative Minds, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a realistic animated story for kids. Here is a clip of what we want to create. Once upon a time, in a cozy little village, lived a curious girl named Luna and her playful cat, Whiskers. One sunny morning, they decided to explore the enchanting forest nearby. As they stepped into the forest, Luna marveled at the towering trees and vibrant flowers. Kids love this kind of videos because it creates curiosity and help them develop positive emotional connection with their environment. But that is not all. Kids videos like this on YouTube is one of the most profitable niche that you can think of. The best part is that everything you need to create this video is provided by AI and it's free. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step with an easy friendly tutorial how you can create kid animated videos for free. There are actually five steps to creating this video and we want to start with the first step which is to generate our script and image prompt. To do this we are going to use Perplexity AI. So I'm just going to come to Perplexity and then type in these prompts. I need a captivating script for an animated kid story. It should be about a little girl with a cat. Note that the video will be generated using image to video tool. So keep every activity easy and simple. The characters will not say anything. I need narration only and the scenes will be forest settings. Now Perplexity is going to supply everything they have requested for. And then I'm still going to add this. Generate image prompt for each scenes of the story above. The images must be consistent. Add to each image the prompt to transform it to a video. I'm going to enter that and send and then Perplexity is going to provide a prompt. This is one of the things I love about Perplexity. It's not just going to give you what you're looking for, it's going to provide additional information. Like now, that's given us the prompt we requested for, but also added images that looks like the prompts, all right, we describe. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that and check it out. Now I can see that the images are generated from Easy Peasy AI, right? And then I can just copy this prompt. If I find any image I love, I can just copy this prompt and then use it to create more consistent prompt for my videos. All right. I'm just going to copy everything that Perplexity has provided and then edit it properly and then move to the next step. Now that we have our script and prompt ready, next is to generate images using this prompt for our project. To do this, we are going to use Ideogram AI. So you want to go to your website and search for ideogram.ai, okay? This is the site. When that is done, we just want to head over to this place to do some settings for our image, all right? And then when I'm done with that setting, I want to paste the prompt right here and then enter. Yeah, this is the first set of image that ideogram has provided for us. And then I'm just going to go through it and then pick one of this. The first prompt there is the prompt we supply to ideogram. Then the second prompt is the prompt that actually generated this image. So we can copy this prompt if we need something like this. I created a few images from ideogram before my free credits got exhausted. I'll have to wait for the next 24 hours before my free credits is reset, but I can't wait. There are two ways to bypass this limitation. First is to use another email account. Next is to use a different tool. So I'm going to use a different tool called Leonardo.ai. It gives more free credits. If you want to follow this step, you really want to pay attention to this. For me to create consistent character across these two platforms, this is what I want to do. So what I will do is that I will head over to ChatGPT and then upload one of the images I got from Ideogram right here. And then add this prompt. I need a detailed description of this image. When that is done, I'm going to send, then ChatGPT is going to supply detailed explanation description of that image I got from Ideogram, all right? After that, I want to ask ChatGPT, how do I structure this detailed description of the image in prompt to generate consistent character? I mean, the same girl with the same cut, but different posture and background. Then I'm going to enter that and ChatGPT is going to give me what I need to get what I want. Now I'm going to turn this job back to ChatGPT. I'm going to ask it to use the recommendation it has provided to improve my image prompt to maintain consistency of the characters. So I just want to paste the prompt alongside with this and then send. 
as you can see here, ChatGPT has improved the prompt and also given us improved video transformation prompt that will help us transform our images to videos. Now that is done, we want to head over to Leonardo.ai. So you just want to sign up if you don't have an account and then click on image creation. So I'm just going to copy the prompt I got from ChatGPT and then paste it in here and click on generate. Beautiful. As you can see now, Leonardo has given us the first set of image that we want. So I still want to go for the second prompt. And then paste it here and click on generate. You can agree with me that these images are consistent, right? Now let's compare the images we generated from Ideogram with the one we generated from Leonardo, right? As you can see here, these images look so much alike, right? We can use it to tell any story, right? So now we're done with this part, let's go to the next step. In the next step, we are going to transform these images to videos. To do this, we are going to use a site called videomaker.me. So you want to head over to your browser and search for this website, videomaker.me. You want to open that and you want to sign up with your email account. And when that is done, yeah, it's where you're going to enter your image to video prompt. Then I want to drag the image of this prompt and then submit it here. This may actually take a few minutes, so you have to be patient. Beautiful. As you can see now, our image has been transformed to a video. Just click here and then download your video. So we're going to do the same for all the images we want to use for our video. Next is to generate a voiceover using Play It. You can use any other tool you want. You want to head over to your browser and search for Play It. It's going to open, then you need to sign up with your Google account. And then when that is done, then you need to attend to a couple of questions. Okay. When that is done, you want to copy your video scripts and then paste it here. So you're going to click on this blue color here to choose a voice for your scripts. So I'm just going to do that. So here you can go to all the voices to pick the one that suits your story. All right. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And I want to pick this. Once upon a time in a magical forest, there lived a little fairy named Rosie. Rosie had shiny wings that sparkled like the stars in the sky. You want to scroll down to the last part of it and click on apply to all paragraph. And when that is done, you want to confirm it. And then scroll up to where you have generate all click on that and then click on exports now our voiceover is ready now that we've gotten all the resources we want it is time to put everything together to do this we are going to use CapCut. you want to open CapCut and then import all the resources you are using for your video all right so i'm just going to adjust this Okay, when I'm done importing these clips, the next thing I want to do is to go to transition. Now, I want to add transition to all the split points. So, I want to add this black fade. Okay, now that is done, I want to add effects. So, I'm going to choose these mini stars. Just want to extend that. Then that look good. I also want to add this fade out to the last part of it. Okay. Beautiful. This is done. The next thing I want to do is to generate captions. So I'm just going to go to text. And then come over to auto captions. Just going to click on that, generates, and wait for it. Okay, that is done. Then I want to add over to templates. 
So I'm going to just click on template and then choose this guy right here. Okay, beautiful. Just want to adjust that a little. I want to go to audio and then find a music. Let me just type in here nature. All right. I like this. I want to pick this guy. I want to add that and then adjust it properly. I want to add that, adjust the volume. Beautiful, our video look great. All right, just gonna adjust everything. And our video is ready. You just want to click on export to get your video. Now the job is done. Let's see the final results. Once upon a time in a cozy little village, lived a curious girl named Luna and her playful cat, Whiskers. One sunny morning, they decided to explore the enchanting forest nearby. As they stepped into the forest, Luna marveled at the towering trees and vibrant flowers. Whiskers chased after fluttering leaves, his tail swishing with excitement. Suddenly, they met a friendly squirrel named Sammy. Sammy shared his acorn treasure with them, inviting them to play hide and seek among the trees. Luna giggled as she hid behind a big oak tree. Whiskers peeked from behind another tree, ready to pounce. Sammy counted to ten, excitement bubbling in the air. After their game, Luna discovered a magical stream filled with shimmering fish. Whiskers curiously dipped his paw into the cool water, splashing joyfully. Inspired by the beauty around them, Luna decided to build a tiny house for the fairies. With twigs and leaves, they crafted their masterpiece while Whiskers kept watch for any visitors. Just as they finished, a tiny fairy appeared. She sparkled in the sunlight and thanked Luna and Whiskers for their beautiful creation. As the sun began to set, it was time for Luna and Whiskers to head home. They waved goodbye to Sammy and the fairy, promising to return for more adventures. That night, as Luna snuggled into bed with Whiskers by her side, she dreamed of all the magical adventures waiting for them in the forest. And so, every adventure begins with curiosity and friendship. This is how you can create interesting stories for kids in a few minutes using free tools. Don't forget to watch out for my video on the best strategy to create consistent character for any type of video using any platform. Until then, stay creative.